Hey guys, it's Lisa Marie. I'm at Warwick Hills again, this time not in golf attire, and we're here with tournament director Chris Kaufman. We've got some exciting news, so I'm gonna let you tell everybody. Thanks, Lisa Marie, appreciate <laughs> it. Uh, yeah, so today we got to announce um, our tournament date for the 2019 tournament, which is the week of September 9th, uh, which essentially is the same week that we um, had the tournament this year. We had great weather, we had great turnout, the players um, were ecstatic with course conditions, um, and uh, we're kind of going to go down the path of it's not broken, don't try to fix it, I guess that's what they say, right? So um, we think um, it's going to be another wonderful week uh, next year, and uh, we're really excited. So we, we loved everything, and being somebody from the community, the community loved having professional golf back in Grand Blanc. But it, it helped the community immensely. I know the numbers aren't out there, but the charities that you guys impacted, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so um, there's two main charities that are designated to benefit um, from our tournament this year. Um, one is Junior Achievement of uh, Southeastern Michigan, benefiting children here in the Genesee County Flint um, community. And the other one is the Community Foundation of uh, Greater Flint, uh, helping children that were affected by the water crisis and also helping children that uh, need financial benefit to go to college. Um, you know, at the end of the day, when the tournament is all finished and Paul Broadhurst, you know, made this last putt to go 15 under par and win the tournament, um, and all the fans go home, really what tournament golf, PGA Tour tournament golf on, on the PGA Tour, PGA Tour champions, and also web.com, it's about charity. It's about charity in the local community. And, um, you know, Flint is a community that, you know, we all know the stories and so on that needs help. And uh, this tournament, I think, can be, if not the largest event of the year in the community, one of the largest events, but we can do our part to give back to local charity. Um, I don't want to speak for Andrea Bremer, but she talks about it all the time, and it's important, and uh, we're really enthusiastic about the financial benefit we're going to be able to provide to, uh, to the kids. Um, and we're going to have a date um, in uh, late November, the, November 27th, which is a Tuesday, that we're going to be right back here at Warwick Hills and we're going to be talking about uh, the, the, the results of the tournament financially and also uh, giving out checks to charity. So it's, it's going to be a really November 27th, day. we'll have the numbers. November 27th, Just yeah. really quick, you know, aside from the golf, the concert. Yeah. Being, I had the, the privilege. You had a good time. I saw you up there on stage. Okay, so I was on stage. Yeah, okay, you were on Gretchen stage Wilson, with all your buddies. With Gretchen Wilson and the guys from Big and Rich. But when you when you stood on that stage and you looked out, mm -hmm. it was the most surreal thing in the world. And all I heard was this community, this community. What a great thing for the community. What I mean, I don't think you guys realize what you brought back to Genesee County. And talking to the pros, I mean, talking to Mark O'Meara goes, I love being back here. I mean, it was like a big, gigantic class reunion. It was a party. It was it was quite the party. Yeah, it was a party, you know, and took different forms and shapes depending on who you're talking to. Um, but the, the tournament served, did what it was supposed to do. It was supposed to serve a lot of purposes and be a lot of fun, of, no matter whether it was 12 o'clock on Friday mm -hmm. afternoon or if it was... 10 p.m. on Friday night, um, and the concert was cool because oh gosh, it, it brought so many people together. It was on the driving range, which is this beautiful, natural, grassy amphitheater, kind of. Mm -hmm. And um, it's our mini pine knob. It's, well, mini it's our mini knob. DTE pine knob. Yeah, well, you know. yeah. And um, I think we sort of like had an aha moment, like, ah, oh, yeah. okay, <laughs> this is cool, yeah. um, and we should do this again, and we will. And uh, I mean, I was just down the hall, we're talking about the 2019 tournament today, um, and we're starting to plan it. And music is on the agenda um, about, you know, what band, and do we do Friday night, do we do Saturday night, you know, uh, what's going on in the local community around those dates, and so on. So um, it's going to be fun, and, and music is definitely part of the plan for 2019. Well, we want to thank you for coming back to Grand Blank, 103.9 The Fox, loved being involved, we hope to be involved again. And we're just really You're excited. You're going to be involved. You're going to be involved. involved. You guys heard it. You're going to be Chris involved. said, 103.9, quiet. Thanks again. I'm Lisa Marie. We'll see you guys later.